is going on people welcome back johnny here and we are going to try a new playthrough here i am going to theme this one off of tank girl i'm not a huge comic book person but the tank girl stuff was really cool so we have rim cities which is going to be our starting location some of the key mods here i did add royalty and because in the movie she was dating that kangaroo dude, I added this null race mod. It was the closest thing I could find to kangaroo dudes. So uh, we'll add these guys. We'll see if we can... It's mostly going to be a solo playthrough with someone to be Tank Girl. But if we can get some of these nulls on our side, that would be pretty fun. I have a bunch of the vanilla expanded stuff in. For an end game, I'm going to try Yayo's end game here. I think that will be a lot of fun. If you're not familiar with that, just look it up. You got to travel around to different biomes and uh, essentially extract energy. I haven't ever done it before. I've also added SRTS, so that'll be a part of our starting location. She's going to start in a pretty rough spot. SRTS expanded with trader ships as well. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I haven't really messed around much with this, but I think it'll be fun. We have dual wield. Uh, some of the basic stuff. Actung. I'm gonna leave it in, but I never, I never do it or remember to do it. <laughs> Wall light is a must for me. Camera plus makes the game a lot more fun. Color coded mood bar, damage indicators I love a lot. Uh, prepare carefully. We have giddy up, so we can actually ride on stuff. I don't know. Gloomy decor doesn't do a lot, but it, it's interesting once in a while. Morath is one of my mods that adds a morath. I could probably drop it now that I have animals expanded. Vanilla animal expanded going, but... Alright, we have the Citadel update for Rim Cities, and then there's just Smart Speed as well. Run and Gun also. That was key. If we're going to try and do a solo playthrough, we're going to need that. And just a whole bunch of vanilla expanded stuff. Facial, facial animation, though. That's, that's one of my new must-haves as well, so I added that in. Vault makes really strong walls, but I don't know that we'll actually build any because it's rather resource intensive. So for the game itself, I'm going to start with an abandoned city. And I want to do something different, so I'm going to try Diego Dyer and Blood and Dust. We'll see how this goes. I've never used Diego. So for this, we're going to do Tank Girl for our seed. This is just a setup episode. If you want to jump right into the gameplay, just jump to episode one. Episode zero, I kind of screw around, set things up, tell you what it's going to be about. I looked around for a mod that had tanks, and I couldn't find any. <laughs> so she'll have to hoof it. She'll have her SRTS, and she'll start in a city. So I guess her goal will have to be to like get that thing rolling well before she can get out of there. I have to find a place to start that doesn't bore you to death here. All right, this should be cool. I don't really care as long as there's other people around, but there's going to be other people around anyway. So we go to prepare carefully. I did sort out a tank girl. Uh, let's see. I'm going to tweak the equipment. None of this shit makes sense. A female Sphinx cat. <laughs> oh, she does have a relationship. I'll, uh, I'm will i going to get rid of these other people too. I wonder if I have to do something special to be able to play with the gnolls. Whatever, I'll just jump into the game after I dink around with it. Um... I played with it before, but I'll get it situated here and we'll go. Since she's going to be mostly a solo character, I'm going to make her relatively good at the things we care about. I'm going to change this up, obviously, but um, anyway, we'll get there. All right, she's going to pop down here. Bunch of hostiles around. None of her gear on yet. And she's going to have to survive. Obviously, she's coming in right in the middle. I'm not going to let her land till first episode when I actually start playing, but... You can see this person's weapons are overlaid. It took me a while to figure out what the Sam hell was going on with that. I don't know why it's overlaying weapons like that. It's some factor of dual wield. But whatever. There's some legit people around here. I don't really see. Oh, this person's totally dual wielding. It looks normal there because I guess it's supposed to be like an over under thing. But anyways, we are going to have to gather up food supplies. We have a ship stashed over here, a canary. These, these ships are supposedly ancient, and they've been in service for millennia, so that seems pretty fitting as far as getting her a vehicle. So she's going to have to kind of clear this map, gather up resources, load them up in that ship, and then get the hell out of here. And then the end game quest, let's see, I don't know if it gives me that yet. No, it doesn't give me squat. But anyways, we have to travel around to certain biomes and create things that 
suck energy out of the biome. So cheers to the patrons. I'll give you guys all a shout out next time. And uh, that's that. If you want to see the action, turn into epi- tune in to episode one. <laughs>